Hi class, this is uh, Professor Pollock, Simcha Pollock, uh, trying to show you today how to solve a problem in Chapter 15 that a, a student asked me to help, some help with. Uh, and the chapter involves, as far as we're concerned, uh, quadratic regression. I'm looking at example 15.1.3. Um, and even though it involves one X and one Y, which is Chapter 13, the relationship is not linear, it's not a straight line, it's a, it's a, it's a curve. Um, the um, theoretical way of solving this is discussed in some videos from Chapter 15. But basically, you're going to take the, the one X variable, in this case advertising, and square it because the curve, sometimes called a quadratic curve or parabolic shape, or a second degree polynomial has as its equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now the bx plus c is the shape of a straight line, but the x squared is what gives it that curve. Now they ask you first of all to graph it, and choice c seems to go between 0 and 10, which is the advertising values, and in fact it, it drops down a little bit, which is, can only happen with a quadratic parabolic shape. So Choice C is the right answer, but you can verify that by simply graphing it. Let's check the answer. Fantastic. Well, pays to have a PhD in statistics. Um, now, the main point of this uh, uh, video is to show you how to use StatCrunch to come up with the parameter estimates, the the constant or the intercept, the, the parameter in front of the x1 or the original x and the x squared that we're going to create. So I'm going to go into, click on the full data set, open in StatCrunch, which hopefully works, and we have two variables, which is what's given to us. But we're going to take that third variable and call it advertising squared, and literally square it. Now there may be a way of doing this through the StatCrunch, but I'm going to do it manually. 16, 16, 6 squared is 36, 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 64, and 10 squared is 100, 100. Um, now we go to stat, we want regression, but this time we want multiple regression, chapter 14, because we have th two x's now, advertising and advertising squared. Click on that, we'll let go of that. You want to, the variable is going to be the sales, that's the dependent y variable, and the advertising, by clicking on this and keeping your finger on control, you get both of them. We don't want any interactions. We do want to perform the hypothesis testing, so basically there are no more options to choose. Um, let's see, any more, and so let's compute. And here's the results that might take hours of calculation. Uh, now done automatically. Now I'm going to print out these results because I have a hard time cutting and pasting them. Print, print, and now we can get rid of it. Now we've got to go back to the problem. Close. So the number that's uh, for the the estimate for the, for the intercept, if you still have it open, if you're doing this with me, is 5.637. But they want four decimal places, so let's, let's add a zero. Won't turn. The estimate for the advertising, the number by itself, is 0.24889, which rounds off to nine. And the number in front of the x squared, which is advertising squared, is minus 0 0.01205. But again, because you're allowed 0 0.1 leeway, I don't have to really concern myself with that about accurate um, rounding. Let's check the answer. <laughs> and the thing stopped responding. But anyway, uh, it's correct, um, and 
the next question which is going to ask you it doesn't show up on the screen I've been having this problem all day I can't get it to check the answer and show up um, oh, not happening um, the next question I recall is to make a prediction when x equals some specific number like 25,000 well first of all 25,000 gets expressed as 25 because the numbers we've been putting in is units of a thousand and then you take the 25 and you multiply it by that 0.2489 and you take the 25 and you square it to create 625 and multiply it by minus 0 0.0120 add them together with that intercept and that's going to be the y value so I hope this was helpful uh, there are other parts of the question but at least this shows you how to, how to get the information out of StatCrunch <laughs>